Hello church, this is Pastor Lisa coming to you at the end of another week and I pray that you continue to find these videos to be a source of blessing and information. Um, I am thankful for getting to come to you in this way. Uh, something that I wanted to share today has to do with something that's come up in one of my daily devotions this week and that has to do with the concept of liminal space. So if you're not familiar with liminal space, you might think of it as like a waiting area uh, between one point uh, in time and space to the next. Uh, we might even say that in a liminal space, we might feel like we're on the verge of something. And this concept makes me think about what the disciples might have been experiencing uh, following Jesus's death and resurrection. We know that in worship, we're um, going through the resurrection appearances. And you have to kind of wonder what the disciples must have been thinking in that time, having lived alongside Jesus, then seeing him die, having him come back to life, knowing that sin and death has been conquered, and that Jesus is now still teaching them, walking alongside them in a, in a different way. And then talking about all these things that are going to come next for the disciples. And ultimately, uh, we know ascending to heaven and commissioning the disciples to go and continue Jesus's work and telling them to go and wait for the gift of the Holy Spirit to come. And we know we celebrate that on Pentecost. For them, they were in this liminal space um, from what they knew with Jesus to what they were going to know um, after Jesus. And meaning that the community of faith was going to look different as they formed uh, what we call now the church and the body of believers who chose to follow Christ and then going out and spreading God's word. Now, for us, I think we're in a liminal space in the midst of this pandemic, as we're in this waiting period from pre-pandemic time to what life will and can look like once we're able to start having some of these restrictions lifted. Because we know on the other side of this that life is still not going to be like it once was. Um, not in terrible and horrible ways, but we know that for some reasons, um, you know, we're going to still have some restrictions in place, even once some begin to ease and that life will look different. Partly, I hope, because in this liminal time, I'm hopeful we've been learning some things. Perhaps for some of us, it's learning that our lives don't need to be so hurried and, and full of activity, that perhaps even the church doesn't need to be so full of activity, um, but also that perhaps um, we just need to focus on being more intentional and, and focused on the things that, that most matter. And in the midst of that, uh, we have been learning new ways to connect, new ways to be the community of faith, new ways to worship together, uh, to focus on our discipleship by joining together in online Bible studies and fellowship groups. And how can this not carry over? Uh, so I think we've been learning new ways to connect with one another, but also with others who perhaps have not yet connected to the love of Jesus Christ. And so, in fact, I'm really excited about what some of this might mean for us. Um, and on Monday night, I'm, I'm grateful to say that our leadership board and our discipleship team are meeting together to kind of start having that conversation, to begin the conversation of what is it that we're learning right now about things that we're able to do in, in this uncharted waters, right? Um, and how can that be applied to our ministry and mission, both now um, as we continue to experience this, but also on the other side. And so I think God is truly in the midst of all this and that the spirit is indeed moving in some new ways. And I hope that we can all be in prayer for the church right now and seeing and praying for what God may want us to be doing with all these new experiences and learning. Um, most importantly, I think it's also about how we continue to be community in the midst of this time and as restrictions begin to lessen, knowing that we still won't be able to return to life in person fully for a while. And so friends, um, just something to ponder, reflect upon and pray about. And as always, I just want to encourage you again to um, join us for worship on Sundays at 10 o'clock. 
uh, whether you join us by Facebook Live or Zoom. Uh, our prayer services that I've begun, which is on Wednesdays at 7 o'clock on Facebook, and also um, just through any of the fellowship and study opportunities that we have online. I'm really excited to see Ricky's uh, Ricky Noble's group take off on Thursday. Uh, we had a little delay with that because our books took a detour from Yorktown to uh, Glen Allen, but they were finally back and um, outside of the church for those that are participating in that group. And um, I just pray that you continue to keep up with one another, continue to check on one another, care for one another. Know that I'm holding you all in prayer. I miss you terribly. And I'm here if there's anything that you need. And so friends, let us continue to be faithful, continue to trust in God's steadfast presence with us, and continue to grow both individually and together in this time. Be well and be safe.